Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... You won't believe this, but I had did a whole video on this already. And I hadn't even clicked the start button. <laughs> So I guess what I should have been saying, I, I was supposed to say. All right, but I'm going to get back on into this because it needs to be said. Now, Simon is doing his due diligence. He's riding around town somewhere. I'm thinking downtown. And he's feeling himself, feeling himself, you know. And he's listening to a song by DeMarco called... Uh, I don't forget. It'll come up on the screen. But uh, he's liking himself. Doing what he needs to do. Having his uh, man time by himself. I don't know if he had lunch or, I mean, breakfast with somebody. Because it's fairly early in the morning time. If we look out, you know, at the scenery he's giving us in the background. And uh, I don't know how Portia ended up with him. But I guess he went out earlier. He came back towards the afternoon. And Portia just wanted a day out with the fam. Now, y'all, what's going on with her stomach, Erie? What is going on? Because it seems like it's like, okay, y'all told me last time. It ain't never alcohol and eating. Good eating. I'm so, okay, so we're going to leave that alone. But, child, it's like I'm having a deja vu moment. Except for it's too many people in the car. Uh, I just did a video on Bricky riding in the rows, riding in the rows once with her mom. I'm guessing it was her mom. Not really sure who was driving the vehicle, but either way, it was being driven. And Bricky was in the back just singing the song because I'm happy. You know, John Legend song, stuff of that nature. And guess what PJ was doing in the back seat of her mom's car? Or maybe Simon's car, because I'm kind of confused who car it is. Because I never see Portia drive it, or at least she's not doing it where she's taping herself. But uh, they're listening to Before I Let Go by Franklin, Beverly, and Mays. A grown folk song. A grown ass folk song. That a child should not be bebopping to. Rocking in her seat. And trying to listen. Because that's what, they, what kids do. They listen and then they repeat shit. Okay. Can you see PJ in school. Uh, maybe hearing that song on the outside. You know, maybe, you know, it's a little noisy outside and somebody got the, uh, sound system up in their car. Can you see her striking out in, a uh, song? Before I let you go! And everybody looking at PJ and Claire like, what the hell is wrong with this child? Where is this child getting this, uh, this knowledge of this song? Who has she been hanging around? And I'm like, Dennis, come get your child. Come get your child. Because... Portia is teaching things that a child should not be hearing. And then you got her mama in the background, who is the elder, who should be saying, now nah, we ain't going to let her listen to this song because it's a grown folk song. We don't want her singing nothing. You know what I'm saying? We don't want her picking up shit she can go and embarrass us later about. And then we're going to have everybody looking at us like we're not doing our due diligence and we're just teaching the baby girl all these grown folk songs and she cruising to them and, and grooving to them and you know getting her all flustered and stuff you see what i'm saying like dennis come get your child come get your child Cause she don't know how to put little folks music on okay you, just like you don't want to smoke in front of a child like simon just smoking in and everywhere but mostly it seemed like portion on kicked him out the house and saying you can't smoke in here you got to go outside with that and because it seems like that's where he's been lately is smoking on the outside which in fact that's where he should be and he really should stop this smoking because this can cause him lung cancer which is going to put portia in a very bad situation because she's going to become a caregiver but getting back to the scenery is Portia trying to copycat? Is she trying to copycat Brookie and Kenya's idea of riding around Atlanta with the Rolls Royce? The only thing that's different is they have more occupants in the car and they don't have their top, their top let down. Okay? Like T.I. be saying, I like my beats down low and my top let back. And that's, part of, that's pretty much as far as I can go. <laughs> 
with the lyrics. But she was just egging PJ all the time. Go PJ, go PJ. And PJ was just uh, shaking in her seat and just grooving. And I'm like, somebody needs to slap a push upside her head. That is not the proper way to be having a child of her age grooving to no grown folks music. Okay, a child need to be in a child's place and learning child things, not being in the midst of grown folks things that she learning grown folks stuff. Cause pretty much it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back in the least ways you're gonna expect it. Now you got Simon up there. He was doing some hollering and, and had his mouth open like he was getting to the song too. You know what I'm saying? It probably was tickling the hell out of PJ as well. Cause he couldn't sing. Cause he can't even talk right. <laughs> He he talks with this high pitched voice. See see him see his mouth wide open. You know what I'm saying? Like a fly might fly in there. I'm like shut your mouth, Simon. Shut your mouth. Close it now. Cause a fly might fly in there. Some kind of bug, and then you'll be coughing and all this kind of stuff. Then everybody got you got to pull over. Cause we we trying to see if you having an attack or whatever. All right. But yes, Portia had her daughter out there listening to grown folk music. And you know, you just just piss poor parents, and you can't do that, Portia. You can't do that. You always got to keep them on the straight and narrow. Anything you should have some gospel music up in there, cause you want to sing Amazing Grace and shit like that. You want to be up there doing that, but then you're gonna have the baby girl listening to some freaking Beverly and Maze. Next, you're gonna let's have a listen to some rap music. You're gonna let let her listen to Fifty Cent and Ice Cube and Snoop Dogg. Whoo, the girl ain't number what four, three. No, she's just three years old. Portia, 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 Portia. We need to send you back to parenting 101 because evidently you got it wrong. And every time I go on Dennis McKinley's uh, page and he has his daughter, everything around that he's showing is made for kids, it's kids friendly. That's the difference, Portia. When I come over here and I watch you on your channel. I don't know what you got PJ doing half the time. I, I just be shaking my head like, girl, girl, do better. Do better with your parenting, girl. Because y'all had, should have some little kid, kid music up in there. Or better yet, maybe some mu some elevator music. Because I probably would have put her to sleep. And that would have been better for you. Depending on when her schedule is, when she goes to sleep, probably would have been bad. But you don't spend too much time with it anyway, so you need to be staying up with her. Because I did see a video, a short clip, where you in the bed with her, and she wasn't ready to go to sleep. She started talking about her nose running. You talking about, go, 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 uh, it's 12, you need to be asleep. Or was it 11, 30? I said, don't, ch don't chastise the child when you probably had the child up anyway. Or you probably put her to sleep earlier, then you're going to think she want to go to sleep. Nope. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, Captain. It's, you probably wouldn't know too much about that because Miss Diane was pretty much having PJ a lot anyway. So she probably was waiting for Miss Diane to come in and tuck her to sleep. But yeah, honey. Because, you know, uh, I was going to call him Papa Smurf. But all the time, you know, he liked to listen to that Thinette song. And you know, there ain't nothing but some grown and sexy music right there. And Portia be, you know, listen to the same stuff. Now, I thought better of Miss Diane. I thought, I, I, no, I thought better. Now, anything, she could have had some Isa Brothers playing up there. Like the Caravan of Little Song. And that's talking about togetherness, building family, protecting family. You know what I'm saying? Families working together, that type of music. I can see PJ. I can see her doing that. But this is a breakup song that she had. Um, a one night stand song, Frankie the Beverly and Maze. You know, this is like when I get through with you and I think you're good, then I'm gonna leave you. What kind of shit is that? You don't want PJ to know anything about separation, but you're already going through it with you and Dennis. You want to make her learn a song and then she start putting pieces together because quick kids are quicker than you think when it comes to that memory bank and putting shit together, but nope. We can always depend on Portia to do the opposite. Yes, we can always depend on Portia to do the opposite. But I also want to know, because I've been peeping a lot lately, Portia. Why haven't we seen more of you catering to your grandmother? I mean, when you had that family, Portia's matter burning syndrome, burning bed, burning the whole thing down. That you don't even talk about. 
that you don't even have on your website or your Instagram account. You don't have anything. You just have public figure. What the hell is a public figure, girl? Are you running for office or something? Because I thought you was in the entertainment field myself. But maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I want to know, where is your grandmama at? Because you definitely showcase your mom a lot. And I don't know if she was spending her social security check out shopping or you were just taking her for a shopping experience. I'm not sure. And quiet as it's kept loud as I'm going to speak it out. It ain't really none of my damn business. Okay. But I thought I would just bring that up. And where is your grandmother's uh, husband? Because they all supposed to be living with Diane in your house. Okay. I never see them. And you know what? I never see Larry either with Miss Diane. Unless he just too cool. And he be like, uh-uh. Too many fools up there. I ain't got time for people looking at me talking about me. Nah, y'all the hell did. And if that's what's happening and why we don't see Larry, then I'm cool. You, you 100 cool with me, Larry. Don't put your shit out here if you don't want it to come back. Or you don't want people to pick at you or make speculations. Don't put yourself out here. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. Anyway. So, um, that's what I want to see. I want to see Portia being a blended family. I want to see the, the generations to generations. You see what I'm saying? Because you got, let me see. You actually got four generations in the house. Because you got P, uh, PJ, you got Portia, and then you got her mama, and then you got her mama's mama. You see what I'm saying? That's four generations. That we don't get seen to get a chance to actually see. He's right in there. He don't want to be out. But well, you go further in the other room then. But anyway, that's all I got for this video, guys. I just thought I'd bring that little these little pivotal points out. He don't like that. That's why you gotta go back. Just bring these pivotal points out that we need to see more of Portia. And don't think I didn't see that you uh take took a picture with John Legend. But we're gonna do a video on that one and give y'all my synopsis of what I think is happening. I think Portia done got a role where She's supposed to be in some kind of slapstick uh, comedy thing. You know, it's kind of like SNL, well, Saturday Night Live. But it's more on a, they'll take something serious and then they'll make it funny. And I think that's what she got herself into. I'm like, girl, who told you you was a comedian, Portia? I mean, you trip the hell out of me all the time. But it don't be funny. It, it really don't be funny what you be doing. You see what I'm saying? So, and y'all know she was in that Sharknado type of uh, film they had way back, I think, um, 10 years ago. She was in something called Sharknado. It was like an action-packed, somewhat drama, drama-filled, sci-fi type thing. But it was really like, it was stupid shit happening. You know, they had like whale fishes falling out the air and stuff like that. So, it was like an unbelievable type scenario she was in. But she was trying to act in it a little bit. But then it was supposed to be funny. I'm like, is that what we're doing now, Portia? You want to be a part of the comedy world? When you're not that funny? I mean, I don't know. So, you're trying to say Real Housewives of Atlanta not letting you on? I mean, a lot of people were saying something about the ratings were bad, this, that, and third. I don't really go too much on the ratings. I just see if I like the show. I don't like the show. And I, th I thoroughly enjoyed the last 30 minutes of the show. And I didn't quite miss you or Nene or Cynthia. Because Cynthia's role was taken with Candy in a sense. You know what I'm saying? And Drew was pretty much acting like you. And then we had Marlo acting like Nene. So technically, you all really weren't missed. But y'all sure been carrying on in these streets to get the shine off of the premiere of season 14. I can tell you. You and Nene been cutting up out there. But it just is what it is. But I'm like girl. At least if you're going to copy Kenya. And this Rolls Royce riding around. 285 or 20. And you want to have your family up in there. Do it better girl. Do it better than what Kenya did. Because she was like solo dolo. She was giving all the shine to her daughter. And making sure her daughter was good. 
But you, you have to put yourself in everything. It's just like P. Diddy in, in, in the rap game. He can't let his artists just do their they thing and he get credit for it. He got to be all up there with them. Vibing with them. And see, that's what I'm saying. We don't get enough to see just PJ. PJ interacting with whatever. You always got to be up in the, in, the, in the Kool-Aid. Or why can't it just be you and her? Why you got to drag your mama in him? We don't want to see Diane. We don't want to see Diane. And we damn sure don't want to see Simon, but he seemed like he was a package deal. And if he's your chauffeur at this point, I guess you do need him. Because you look like you done gave up your driver's license. You done gave up your driving skills and ability. You just uh-uh, I'll wait to Simon take me. Like, girl, don't give up your, don't give up your identity like that. Don't give up your independence like that. I mean, what the hell? He buy a Rolls Royce for you and you ain't going to use it. Or you going to use him as a tool to drive you around. That ain't Baldwin. And again, why are you trying to get all these different jobs over here? We're supposed to be married to a baby now. See, again, Portia, like you balling backwards. Make it make sense, baby. Make it make sense. Okay, for those who are trying to be nosy and try to understand your plight. Okay? But that's all I got in this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and go over to visit my other channel as well. Because you know I'll put the links in. I will get those links followed in. Okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.